you're planning on breastfeeding or pumping, exclusively pumping, or any combination of boob juice coming out of your body. Hey sis, I'm Sam, I'm a doula and mama of four, here to give you some support and real talk about pregnancy, birth, postpartum, and beyond. But I wanna give you some real tactical advice and strategies from me, an experienced mom, on how I prepare for postpartum. As part of my postpartum prep series, today we're gonna to be talking about food. I mean, what pregnant lady doesn't like to talk about food? I do, even when I'm not pregnant. I have four really simple strategies to help you get along in postpartum, so keep on watching. These videos are really laid back. It's just you and me, sis. You, me, my Ode to Friends Central Perk printed t-shirt. I love a printed t-shirt. And comment below, what is a show that if it is on TV or if it comes across your Netflix, you have to watch? Like you just have to, it sucks you in. One of mine is definitely Friends. That's the millennial in me, okay? I love that show. And if you are a Friends fan, who are you? Are you Rachel? Are you Ross? Are you Monica? Which one are you? I'll meet you down in the comments and I'll tell you who I am. One of the first things that people always go to when they talk about postpartum and trying to give advice is, you need to stock up your freezer with freezer meals. Are you doing freezer meals? How is my family going to eat? Here's the thing, your family will survive. Freezer meals are great, but unless you're really dedicating a lot of time and energy on the weekends to building up that freezer stash of casseroles and crock pot meals, it can be really overwhelming. What I've done for you is I started curating a feed the masses Pinterest board on my Pinterest page. So I'll have it linked down below and you can check that out. Most of the recipes that I've been checking out have five to maybe 10 ingredients and maybe take 30 minutes at a time to do. But my advice to you is if you have the time to do freezer meals, great. If not, that's okay too. Don't stress about it. You don't have to feel like you're keeping up with the Joneses or the Janes, if you will. You don't have to keep up with them and think that you have to do those things. If you have a small family, it's just you and your partner, you don't need that much food. One of my favorite ways to get by on food during the postpartum period is DoorDash. Yay, DoorDash. I was postpartum with my third baby and it was really tough and it was just really really hard on me to keep up with meals and DoorDash saved me. DoorDash is fantastic. Make sure you tip your dashers well. I do have a link for you to get $10 off your first three meals of $15 or more. Now, I don't know about you, it's really easy to get a meal that's at least $15 for your family. So make sure you check out that link below. If you're planning on breastfeeding or pumping, exclusively pumping, or any combination of boob juice coming out of your body, you're gonna need some snacks. Your metabolism is roaring whenever you're breastfeeding and pumping. We wanna make sure that we are helping boost your milk supply and it is delicious to eat at two in the morning. <laughs> my two favorite things are my lactation bites. I will link the video that I have on how I make my no-bake lactation bites in the description box below and here up on the screen so you can check that out whenever you're done watching this video. I'm just gonna have a slight intermission to just Yep. Yep. That's the stuff. Just gonna pat myself on the back for this one. But if you want the Cliff Notes version of that, I suggest Cliff Bars. They are amazing. These that I have here are the chocolate brownie. I mean, duh. Of course I'm gonna love these. If you're already a Cliff Bar lover, what's your favorite flavor? Let me know down in the comments below. These are great to have right by your bedside or at your little nursing station. You wanna be eating every few hours to keep your metabolism going and help your milk supply. So if you don't wanna make your own lactation cookies, lactation bites, that's okay. Grab something that's just ready to go and Cliff Bars are a great option. We have to talk about supplements, and this is just my personal preference on the type of supplements that I like to have close by in my house postpartum. Your body goes through so many changes, it's insane, but 
I don't have to tell you that. You know that. You're living it. You're breathing it. You know the changes that you see on the outside, but it's important to know that there's a lot of changes going on on the inside, and we need to be able to support that with proper supplementation. Make sure you talk to your OB, your midwife, whoever is caring for you in your postpartum period on what they think is a good option for you, but these are just my personal favorites. The first one is, of course, your prenatal. They call it a prenatal, but you should also be taking it postpartum as well. I've been going with the one a day lately. This is what I have. So I'm going to use the rest of this and maybe I'll switch it up as time goes on. But I've been taking a prenatal vitamin during my pregnancy and I will be taking a prenatal vitamin after my pregnancy. The second supplement that I'm taking now during pregnancy and will continue postpartum is vitamin D. I double up on my vitamin D. I definitely get vitamin D deficient and I feel like this really helps my mood, my energy level. It doesn't get me a boost of energy by any means. I mean, I don't know anybody who gets a boost of energy waking up every two hours with a newborn. <laughs> Your mom was probably pretty normal before she had you, but then you were born and you didn't sleep for six months. So she didn't sleep for six months. But it helps me mentally. I also tend to be anemic during my pregnancy and postpartum, especially in that first few weeks. So I continue with my blood builder. It's an extra iron supplement. I got this on Amazon and I will link it down below for you. If you struggle with anemia, this has been a lifesaver. I no longer get lightheaded. I no longer have heart palpitations and all the things that if you're anemic, you know what I'm talking about. This was suggested by my midwife in my third pregnancy and now in my fourth pregnancy, I've started out strong with this supplement. To also help with my anemia, combined with the iron, I take a vitamin C chew. We have the chewable kind because more than one person in my family likes to have these. These are just from Vitamin Shop. They are kind of like a little treat too because they taste like orange and they kind of make you feel like you're having a piece of candy. There you go, sis. Those are the types of foods and supplements that I am preparing to keep on hand and how I'm preparing my kitchen for postpartum. I'm going to finish this lactation bite Go check out the video on how I make these. Try them out while you're still pregnant. They're still healthy to have during pregnancy and I'll see you over in that video.